Hey, I'm Adam Lambert, and you're watching Noise11.com. Died last night in my dreams, walking the streets of some old ghost town. I tried to believe. And we welcome Adam Lambert to Noise11.com. Welcome back to Australia. Second time in less than 12 months. Yeah, yeah. We're very impressed. I'm on a regular yeah, here. Yeah, frequent flyer. Yeah, I you, wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind staying longer You'll, you'll get the accent down soon. <laughs> well, uh, I'm pretty far. Yeah. All I can say is, how are you going? <laughs> and it's still not quite right. That's not bad. It's it's. But I love that phrase. Yeah. It's my favorite Australian phrase. Well, the way you do that was better than an American talk show host. I don't think I've... <laughs> I'd, I've never heard Jay Leno or Conan how or... How going? Any, none of them I, get it right. How are you going? None of them get it it right <laughs> i want to start talking about the original hive because, you know what a great record when we thank first you. heard that on the radio it just leapt out oh thank you very that, much that must have felt really good in the studio recording that yeah you know that was actually the first song that was brought to this whole project wow which is one of the reasons why i decided to call the album the original high mm. um it was a demo that i worked on with these two guys uh john west and this guy named accident and then i brought the demo idea to max martin and shellback my executive producers that would come to be and they fell in love with it and then Shellback kind of put his, his special sauce all over it and turned it into a big old smash. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the great thing was you were, you had friends and uh, phone numbers in the, you know, in, the, in, in the phone book that you could just ring out and in comes Brian May and out pops Lucy. Not too bad. No, yeah. He was, um, we were actually finishing up our world tour and I had the demo for Lucy and I played it for him and he was like, this one's cool. And wow. I'm like, do you want to play on it? So yeah, he, uh, I was so, so flattered and so honored to have him be a part of it. So were you writing the songs for the original high while you were on the Queen tour? It was kind of in, back and forth. Um, I started working on the original high in Stockholm uh, before the tour started, uh, the Queen tour. Um, we spent about eight weeks writing almost every day in the studio, coming up with ideas. Some got thrown out, some we would keep, and then we would kind of rework. Um, but a lot of ideas came out of those sessions. And then I came home and I started working on the tour, the Queen tour. Went on the road for about, I think it was about eight weeks. Then had a big gap and went to L.A. and started working more with Max and Shellback in the studio there. And it was kind of alternating back and forth. Mm. Yeah. The great thing about this now, too, and I would imagine when you put the set list together, is that uh, you've got a catalogue to work with now, haven't yeah, you? Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. When I got to put together this tour, I was like, oh, OK. Yeah. Spoiled for choice now. I can't get all my songs in. Yeah. yeah. And you go back to For Your Entertainment and uh, quite a few songs yeah. that you're performing off that. It was sort of, a, sort of a loose rule to do to try to hit the songs that I that I made videos for, at least, because mm -hmm. those tend to connect with the audience um, over the years and kind of stay present. And then just songs that I felt like would fit into this sort of beginning, middle, and end three-act journey that the, the show is. Um, starts out kind of angsty, sort of industrial, modern, you know, rock electronica kind of stuff, um, uh, darker themes. And then in the middle of the show, I get to explore um, more matters of the heart, um, things about how I feel about things and, and trying to find love and figure out love in a very vocal kind of stripped back way. And then the third part of the show is just a, it's a disco dance, EDM, it's house music party. party to end all parties. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. the big rave at the end. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I guess uh, Fear Entertainment, and then, you know, you, you listen to the three albums back to back, and there's a very much uh, obvious evolution of Adam Lambert between those three records. Do you feel that? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think, I think on all three, I've definitely had moments where I've tapped into maybe quieter, moodier, lighter type of delivery as a, as a singer. But this album was sort of our full-on, you know, exploration of it. Um, as really trying to pull back and make make choices that were intimate and and would pull the listener in a little bit more than usual. Yeah, we should finish Fear at a time. You went back into the studio. Trespassing was the next uh, mm -hmm. record that came out. Uh, did you feel you had more control when you were in the studio that time when you went back for that? Trespassing record? was really fun. Um, I did. I put a lot of time and effort into that one, uh, and it was a very long process. I, I worked for over a year on that album. Um, I think you know, in some ways, I wasn't actually sure of what I wanted to create when I went into the studio to start that one, and it was very much a trial and error sort of experimentation. Uh, that whole album was track to track would kind of jump. You know, I was like, okay, I'm working with Pharrell this week in Miami. 
and I love the songs that I came up with Pharrell. And then I would do a song over here that was maybe more of an adult contemporary rock thing, and I do a song over here. So it really it a very a very large variety on that album. Yeah. It was really fun. And you got to work with Australia's own Sam Sparrow. I did, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the second time, actually, I worked with him on a bonus track mm-hmm. on the first album called Voodoo mm-hmm. that not that many people know about. It's very obscure. Yeah. And then I wanted to get back together with him for Shady. All right. Yeah, and that's one that's definitely stuck. It's one of my favorites. It's in the show uh-huh. uh, tonight. You know where he yeah. got his name from, don't you? A bird? Maybe a sparrow bird? Sammy, Sammy Sparrow was a character on Sydney Radio TV oh, really? in the 1960s. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So you just have to I wait. knew that it was a stage name, but I didn't know where he got it. Well, you can yeah. just say, well, I was listening to TUE in Sydney when I was in Australia. I actually yeah. just I actually just texted him because I was in one, a cafe on Chapel Street and they yeah. were playing a cover of his. Oh, wow. Um, he did, I think it was a Whitney cover or something, and I, yeah. I filmed a little video and I was like, that's you. <laughs> so, yeah. You're doing a cover of uh, David Bowie, Let's Dance. I am, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was so sad to, you know, to learn of his passing. Are you doing a couple the, weeks ago? The song because of yeah, the that news? was why, why we added it. Yeah, yeah, it was something. You know, I I I've done Bowie songs in the past over the past six years on uh, various concerts and things. I, I got to work with Nile Rodgers for a little while, and, and I sang with him and Chic. Mm-hmm. We did Let's Dance. That was one of the songs we did. I've done uh, Fame on the Road with Idol and uh, Life on Mars. I love David Bowie so much. He he was amazing. You know, he was so um, groundbreaking and ahead of his time. Um, and his music is dope. So yeah. I was just like, you know, when he when he passed, it was it was my way of sort of celebrating and remembering him and trying to bring him into the space for the audience, but by doing it in a way that was musical. Mm. Yeah, and I guess it sort of carries on from the David Bowie and Queen under pressure that you've been doing with Queen. For That's the last true. Yeah, years. I have. Yeah. I've got like two degrees of separation. I, I unfortunately never got to meet him, yeah. but I, I really enjoy singing his music. Yeah. I particularly liked uh, the version of Bohemian Rhapsody that you did with Queen, with Freddie Mercury. And did you feel the audience stunned when when Freddie came on? You did that first bit and then Freddie came yeah, on I mean, the it's, second bit. I mean, I think we had already given the way the, the gag at that point because mm. we, we had him come up on the screen a few times, but it is a really lovely moment. Mm. Um, the You know, the audience, I think really appreciated the fact that we were bringing Freddie's memory and his voice and his image uh, onto the stage. I mean, I think I think that was the way to do it. You know, it's uh, it was kind of daunting when I first got the call to tour with them. I thought, I, first of all, I, let alone me figuring out if I can actually handle it vocally and actually pull it off, yeah. um, I was a little concerned with how the audience would take it. You know, are they gonna accept me? Are they gonna be into this? You know, because there's no replacing him, really. Mm. Um, so I really wanted to sort of talk to the audience about it and remind them and, and celebrate him. And, and I think it's, I think we did a really good job. Will you and Queen make an album together? I don't know. Anything's possible. Has it been talked about? No. No songs written? No. Nope. Because like, you know, how would you, it's, it's a little tricky, you know, because Qu- Queen's catalog is gorgeous. And mm. I don't know, in my head, I don't know. I feel like Queen is the original four. I don't know. Mm. Maybe it would have to be called something else. They did it with Paul Rogers. They did. And those yeah. uh, George Michael and Queen songs that are out there. Yeah, maybe yeah. you never know. Future, future is is uncharted. <laughs> Another one uh, you're doing as part of the tour is uh, Mad World, Tears for Fears. Mm-hmm. Tell me about your fandom of that. Yeah, band. that was you know that was a big moment for me on American Idol. So mm. it's something that, um, like I said, it, it fit into the theme of of the show of the kind of the the the, the emotional stuff I was exploring on this and. Um, it's a reminder of sort of my origin for a lot of people, like where they first came to know about me. It's a beautiful song. Yeah, I love that. And when you go home, Eddie for yeah. Rocky Horror. Is yeah, I'm excited up. about that. Yeah, yeah. Have, uh, have, you know, are you a fan of the Rocky Horror Show? Have you watched I all of the movies? I love that film the so much. I love the sh- I love the film. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Because the original Eddie in the uh, in the movie was Meatloaf. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was he? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I knew that. I actually knew that. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. I'm really That'll excited. be your first meatloaf cover then. Yeah, 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 that's true. And, and last. I've met him and he's thing. lovely. He's a, such a nice man. 
and he's been very supportive of me so it's kind of cool to have that full circle with him yeah yeah you're working on an interesting project with oreo too at the moment and uh, you know we don't normally bring commercial uh, products into interviews but this one particularly sounds like uh, you know it's it's uh, all there for the good of mankind yeah it's you know they have a really cool philosophy and and they had a really cool jingle and i was like yeah why not that sounds like fun the cartoon is adorable mm-hmm. i was like well, yeah why not yeah so rolling wonder is the song then yes yeah yes Mm-hmm. That is the jam. What's the uh, what's the plan for that song long term? It's a commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just. It's a know, commercial. <laughs> hear about it forever and a day. It'll yeah, be, it'll make you want to eat Adam Oreos. Lambert. <laughs> Adam Lambert, thank you for joining us here thank at you. Noise Eleven. Thank you so much. Called out your name, but there was no answer. And now I know my heart is a ghost town.